So last week we saw a new DJI Fly Update version 1.10.4 and I covered this on the Mini 3 Pro and this now brings some new human-like voice and it also said that it also fixes some bugs. What it didn't say is that this completely limits your Mini 3 Pro if you live in Europe. So I went into detail about this new DJI Fly update. So if you've not checked it out, I'll put it at the end of this video. But basically this is to let you know, if you're gonna be using your Mini 3 Pro or any small drone in Europe, with this update, it does take away one of these features. So loads of you guys were emailing me who are based in Europe to say that since you've updated, you can no longer adjust your max height. So the max height normally in a majority of countries all around the world, you shouldn't go over 120 meters. But DJI give you the option that you can adjust this up to 500 meters. But unfortunately in Europe, this is no longer the case. And this is due to the new EASA classification. So this is classed as a C0 drone. So if we look on the actual website, any drone under 250 grams, under the operational restrictions, it must maintain a flight altitude below 120 meters above ground level. So what DJI have done to comply with this, they've just put a blanket ban on going over 120 meters. This doesn't just affect the DJI Mini 3 Pro, this affects any drone under 250 grams. So the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 3, the Mini 2, the Mini 2 SE, the DJI Mavic Mini, all them drones which are using this new DJI Fly update in Europe, will be restricted to 120 meters max. You cannot adjust that slider. But if you're anywhere outside of Europe, UK, Canada, Australia, US, every other country outside of Europe, this does not affect you in any way. So the actual flight update, it still will go up to 500 meters. It also doesn't affect the DJI Air series, the DJI Mavic series, the DJI Avata, the DJI FPV. It's just these small drones. But I feel that's also really bad as well. Now I'm not saying in any way go over 120 meters. We have these safety nets for safety for aircraft. So I completely respect that. However, it also states that it's 120 meters above ground level. So if you're actually flying your drone on a mountain or a hill, so you can take your drone off from wherever you are and you can fly up to 120 meters. You can also go to the very top of that mountain. So you're much higher now, and then you can still fly your drone up to 120 and 20 meters but you can no longer now fly upwards across that mountain because it's not going to let you adjust the slider so you're completely restricted and for that reason i don't think this is fair at all it's also potentially a safety risk here because what attacks these drones a lot and this is birds so i had a situation where the drone was about 80 meters in height and loads of seagulls were trying to attack this over a beach so what I did is, and what I always say to you, is to increase that altitude because what seagulls particularly can do is they can fly in a straight line really fast and they can dive really fast, but they can't increase the altitude fast. So if you get your drone and you increase altitude really quick, get out of the way and then decrease it, you've avoided any potential problem. And that's what I did. So I was about 80 meters, I hit sports mode, press left on that altitude stick. It went straight up to probably about 130 meters, 140 meters. I was in clear open space. I then avoided any potential problem with any seagulls. I could fly away and then decrease altitude back under 120 meters. Problem solved, no issue there. But if I couldn't do that, if I was limited to 120 meters, I could increase that drone to 120 meters. These seagulls would still be able to attack it. They've hit that drone. The drone falls out of the sky and potentially hit somebody on the ground. And this is because I'm then limited because you're not giving me who's got the experience to know how to avoid these problems to get out of that situation. Now I'm not saying at all you should go over 120 meters and start taking photos and everything, but for just that, that safety aspect alone, this now takes away that drone pilot's experience to be able to go over 120 meters for just a small amount of time to potentially avoid scenarios. And in Europe, you can no longer do that. So I am disappointed. You can also, when you're on say a mountain, for instance, like we were describing before, you can reset your home point so that then resets it back to zero. Now the downside to that and problem to that is that your home point now is nowhere near where you are just to get around this restriction. So that doesn't work either. So I am frustrated and think it's disappointing this, but this is only available at the moment for the DJI N1 controller. So when the update comes for the DJI RC, if you live in Europe, maybe you might just click cancel and not update. 
So it's also doing new European drone laws that there's nothing really you can do about it. But I hope this gives you some more information about what is going on within Europe. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like button. Just comment down below what you think about all this. Have you experienced this? Is this going to affect you? Let me know in the comments down below. I've got loads more interesting tech content coming really soon, some really exciting new products coming out. So make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.